Hello everybody and welcome to Marty Motoring. I got a bunch of requests to show you my new steering wheel and kind of how I installed it after I installed it. I wasn't originally gonna make a video on it because I just decided to do it one night. Since so many people asked about it, I figured, hey, let's make a video. We're here at my friend Steve's shop, Hammerdown Motorsports. That's the same shop we do a lot of the stuff with the lift in. I'm just kind of hanging out here and figured I'd make this video. Looks like it's about to storm, so we won't make this too long. Here it is, it's a nice leather wrapped wheel. I actually bought it used from somebody, but I'm pretty sure they got it on eBay, and I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, eBay has a bunch. I'm not sure what brand it is actually, but it is very well made. It looks just like the factory one as far as all the metal goes, and it feels really good in the hands. It gives you a nice little section for the paddle shifters, and of course the flat bottom. It really helps with like the feel of the car. All that you need to do to actually get this wheel off is take the covers off on each side. One's on the cruise control stock and one is on this side. Of course you wanna start by unplugging the battery because of the airbag. And once you take these off, you'll see the T30 Torx bit and uh, you can unscrew that and that loosens this whole center section. You pull that, pull the plugs out and you'll see a 19 millimeter bolt and you wanna loosen that, kinda of jiggle the wheel until it's loose. Then you take the nut off and you can pull the full steering wheel off and then you're gonna to have to transfer the electronics and the paddles, I mean it's screws and plugs. It's actually pretty easy and obvious what to do. I did find a video from Seawell pretty helpful and I'll link that in the description as well. That video just kinda of goes through the basic ISF change. Now this works the same on IS250 and 350. You will have to transfer over, like I said, the electronics and paddle shifters and then you pretty much put it all back on in the reverse order and you put this horn and airbag section back on as well. Once you get it all back on and make sure everything's tight and nice and feels good, you can hook the battery back up and you're good to go. Quick side note, my VSC, ABS, and traction control lights are on because of a front passenger side ABS sensor that needs to be replaced and I haven't replaced yet. The part is on order. I did diagnose this in a previous video using Toyota TechStream, so you can check that out on the channel. Unfortunately, those lights are gonna be lit up in my footage for the uh, point of view steering wheel stuff, but it's just something unfortunate that I haven't gotten to fix yet, but I will be fixing and doing a video on. That's a quick look at the flat bottom steering wheel I installed on my car. I really like how it feels and kind of lets you take control of the car. I'll put links in the description below like I said and you can get kind of different models and styles from different brands and companies uh, but they all work really well and they look really good in these cars. If this is your first time on Marty Motoring hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Marty Motoring to keep up with the latest updates. If you like this video and found it helpful hit that thumbs up and as always leave a little rubber on the road. Hell yeah, brother!